you heard me say TB there. That's a team of researchers at the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland has developed a new treatment for tuberculosis. It both has an effect on killing the bacteria, but equally as interesting is its ability to fight the disease themselves. proudest moment. When we pass the Canadian Human Rights Act and eventually same-sex marriage, suddenly people who were unequal under the law became equal. I'm honoured as the second recipient of this award. I also have something in common with Emily Winifred Dixon. I also have Winifred in my name. <laughs> Medical breakthrough this week from the RCSI, a new treatment for sepsis. Yeah, this is a drug called Innovosep. It could potentially prevent sepsis progression early on and even treat the condition in its advanced stages. We are here to celebrate the achievements of our Dublin alumni winners from all our schools and to honour their distinguished careers and unselfish contributions to society. We are going to spend our time together focusing in on healthy habits, physical activity, attitude and beliefs, variety, investigations, nutrition and goals. What advice would you give to uh, young people who are feeling worried or sad? Well, one of the really cool things is that because I've been doing the research and understanding that I've developed some animations with some very cool animating students in IADT in Dunleary, young people can look at the animations and see you know, how is it to feel like this and what are the issues around getting help and support. has given birth 999 times and is due her 1,000th baby any minute now. Keep going, keep going, Here keep going. baby. Hi. Congratulations. Hello. Today is a day to celebrate, a chance to recognize the support of people that are there for you in the worst of times and today the best of times. New research involving a team of Irish experts could lead to an early warning system to tell people with epilepsy they're likely to have a seizure. I invite the Chancellor of the National University of Ireland to admit the graduates. Class of 2019, it has been an extraordinary privilege sharing this journey amongst such ambitious, driven and remarkable young men and women. I have seen the finest side of humanity through you. A group of around 30 new trainee surgeons are taking part in a surgical boot camp today. New figures show that the number of female surgical trainees has increased this year to 40%. This collaboration with Stryker is a very important development for CSI. We are really thrilled to find innovative ways to look at acute intervention in trauma. This is a set of cataract knives from late 18th century, early 19th century. They're particularly important to us here at RCSI because of a figure named Sylvester O'Halloran. He would use knives like this to remove cataracts. The truth is that there are almost no medical benefits to cannabis. You know, we're talking a lot about legalising drugs, but we have to get to the roots of why people are using The memories are just flooding back. I spent six years here, probably the best years of my life. This evening we're celebrating excellence here at RCSI and we honour our prize winners for both their academic and their extracurricular sporting achievements. This Saturday marks National Arthritis Day. It's a common condition. People shouldn't start to think about the health of their joints 
when they're hitting their 50s, they actually need to start thinking about the health of their joints from, from a young age. The Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland has agreed a second loan with the European Investment Bank. The 40 million euro package will be deployed in the next phase of the development. This is not the land of my birth, but it is the land for which I hold the greatest affection. Mr. Mealy, thank you and your colleagues for this wonderful award. We have to consider the human mind as the dominant determiner of our fates. It's taking place at the Royal College of Surgeons, where the first ever William Campbell Scholarship was handed out. First ever winner of it, 17-year-old Suad al Shlea, a Syrian girl. Being in direct provision was probably one of the hardest times in my life, but there are wonderful opportunities here. To actually get in at the esophagus, you have to go through the chest walls, so you have to divide muscle and ribs. So this operation is fraught with a lot of danger. There was something fundamentally connected to the act of being a doctor and to the conditions in society. As 2019 draws to a close, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of you for your enormous contribution to RCSI this year. In terms of our educational programs, FEP 1 was launched successfully, the FEP 2 design phase is complete, our research goes from strength to strength, our campus development plans continue afoot. I'd like to thank all the RCSI staff, professional academic in Ireland and in overseas operations for your unique contribution to RCSI. It's a significant milestone for us achieving university status and something we should all be proud of, something all of you have made a distinct and unique contribution to. I hope that you and your families can enjoy a well-deserved break over Christmas and we approach 2020 with great energy and enthusiasm for the future of RCSI.